I wonder whether you feel um, there's a role for activism in the science today, and if you see flashpoints, really, of activism in science or medicine. I think the whole of science is about activism. It's about looking at a particular discipline and pushing the boundaries of what that discipline can deliver. And often it's about the relationship between science and humanity and what science can do in terms of changing the world that we humans live in. So, you know, to the extent that it um, enables society to be, uh, to benefit in a hundred ways, that is activism. If you take issues around public health and medicine, it's about changing the world and ensuring that, say, certain diseases um, are tackled and that, um, therefore, um, the wider world benefits. I also think that, for example, in the whole climate change, environmental change, that whole world of um, activism and uh, long, the long-term sustainability of our planet, that's an area where we see scientists at the core. I also think that scientists often are at the back of our thinking about uh, objectivity and that that's a really important um, element that all scientists can bring to any form of um, activism because otherwise it's easy to knock on the head and dismiss some of the some activism if you don't have hard figures behind it. Um, so I think that uh, women scientists can put their mark on the world in a way that is affecting change and change in a more gendered way. So if we only have scientists who are men, it's a particular eye on the world that gets changed. If we have women scientists involved, and actively so, then their engagement in that relationship between science and humanity um, is to the benefit of all of us. Why do you think it takes so long to affect change in areas like this? It's really frustrating that in so many areas of our world, the pace of change is so slow. In the States in particular, they're finding it's 17% of lawyers, it's 17% of um, women in the industry, in the film industry, it's 17% uh, in a whole range of issues. So basically less than 25% in almost any single indicator. Um, here in terms of the politics as well, political representation. So um, why? I'm not sure, but I think that we all need to chivvy it in whatever way we can because um, otherwise in a hundred years' time it will be the same. It will be maybe, you know, what, maybe we've moved up to 35% or something like that and it's unacceptable. The rest of the whole of our society, the whole of our experiences are diminished or that lack of equal representation. Is there something that we're not doing? From my perspective, we need to engage more, as in we need to double our efforts and we need to be stronger in what we say. I think this business as usual, this nicely, nicely, this very um, uh, quiet way that women often try and make change is not going to achieve it. And that's actually a bit more of a forceful uh, a bit more of a, a stronger statement about demanding change always works. So if you look at political representation in the countries have, that have put forward a quota, they've got there much quicker. Um, suffrage science, for example, plays a role, could play a strong role in keeping on putting that flashlight and saying, well, in terms of gender and activism and science, um, we will make a noise and we will make it visible.